questions tonight after a shooting last week ends with two 17 year olds shot. One of them killed. This happened last Wednesday in Little Rock when someone opened fire on them. Tonight, the mother of one of the victims saying the grief is unbearable. Tylisa Hampton is live at LRPD. Tylisa, while this mom is grieving, she has a message for other parents. That's right, Donna. I spoke with the mother of 17 year old Darren Matthews. Now she tells me that she's in a world of pain, but she does want to warn parents about making sure they're checking for their kids and making sure they're not getting involved with gun violence. Not Darren, not Darren, not Darren, not Darren. It's this mother's worst fear come to life. It's been hard. I'm angry. The night of Wednesday, June 5th, Little Rock police were called to the 7700 block of North Chico Road. When they got there, they found two 17 year old boys who had been shot. Both were taken to the hospital where one Darren Matthews later died. His mother, Sharika Lewis, remembers springing into action when she heard about the shooting. I just jumped in my car and just went over here to the apartments where he was at. Because when I pulled up, I seen him laying on the ground. Since the shooting, no arrest has been made, but Sharika will never forget the sight of her son on the ground. It was hurtful. I want my baby to get up. Sharika says she heard rumors about what led to the shooting, but believes Darren was involved with the wrong crowd and made deadly mistakes. But Darren knew right from wrong, so we can't blame nobody but Darren because he knew what he needed to do, not be in that situation at all, not even fooling with no guns, nothing. It's gun violence, she says, that's left her family in agony. And it's just so crazy how all these little kids getting these guns out here. Sharika says Darren was the youngest of four and loved to laugh with his family, but now she's raising money for his funeral. I never thought that I would be where I'm at right now because I fought so hard. Daddy talking to him, telling him what the consequences is. By sharing his story, she hopes she's warning other parents. I just want to tell some of these mothers, say your son. And police have said that the other teen who was shot, that other 17 year old that was taken to the hospital, he has been released. They also said last week in an update that another 18 year old that was brought into the hospital, they have been also released from the hospital. Lewis says hopefully gun violence comes to an end. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you.